Estou ao vivo! Fico muito feliz de ter vocês aqui comigo hoje. É uma live muito especial. É uma live com a nossa Miss Canadá 2020, Nova Stevens. E eu sei que vocês são tão ansiosos quanto eu, porque fez muito, muito, muito alarde a eleição dela logo esses dias atrás porque ela vem com um discurso super forte, ela é uma mulher super empoderada e todos nós ficamos muito curiosos em saber mais sobre ela e eu ainda mais porque vamos estar juntas no Miss Universo, então eu acho muito legal já começar essa interação entre nós duas porque uma das coisas mais incríveis que existe no Miss Universo é essa experiência de encontrar com mulheres do mundo inteiro, fazer amizades com mulheres do mundo inteiro. E essa é a parte mais rica de toda essa experiência. Então, eu quero aproveitar ao máximo para ficar o mais próxima possível de todas elas. E assim eu já começo um contato hoje com a Miss Canadá. Sei que vocês mandaram perguntinhas, porque eu pedi, vocês foram incríveis, tem perguntas maravilhosas. Farei elas. É, vocês estarão, cada vez que eu fizer uma pergunta, vocês vão saber que são de vocês, porque são perguntas bem incríveis. Ai, gente, é tão bom estar aqui com vocês, fico feliz que vocês estejam aqui, espero que vocês gostem dessa entrevista e já se preparem, porque teremos muitas outras entrevistas ou lives esta semana e isso vai ser muito especial, eu sei que vocês vão amar. E é muito bom poder conversar com as meninas, porque elas estão passando pelo mesmo que eu, né? E isso é, é, é importante ter com quem conversar, ainda mais no meio de uma pandemia, a gente poder trocar experiências nesse momento. Na expectativa pelo mesmo universo, assim como vocês, eu e Nova estamos na expectativa, ainda não temos data, estamos em preparação, para no momento em que nos chamarem, estarmos preparadas e prontas, mas não sabemos ainda a data. Vocês sempre perguntam, não sei, estou na mesma ansiedade que vocês. Mas tenho certeza que vai ser no momento perfeito, na hora perfeita, onde tudo vai poder ser da melhor maneira possível, vai poder ser a melhor experiência possível para todos. Então a gente vai seguir aguardando, mas eu compartilho com vocês assim que eu souber. Nova, então, é a Miss Canadá, tem uma história de vida muito interessante, muito diferente. Ela vai contar um pouquinho pra gente. Ela vai falar inglês, então eu vou falar inglês com ela. Vou traduzir algumas partes para vocês, para que vocês entendam. Eu sei que muitos falam inglês, mas nem todos, então vou traduzir alguns, alguns pedacinhos. E vocês fiquem aqui comigo até o final, porque eu quero depois saber a opinião de vocês. Então, agora eu quero chamar Nova Stevens, que é a nossa Miss Canadá. I would like to invite our Miss Canada 2020, Nova Stevens, to join me in this special live with the Brazilian fans. And then we can chat a little bit, know each other better. Hi, welcome. Hi, Yulia, how are you? I'm fine, and you? So excited to meet you. I have a hard time hearing what you're saying. Can you hear me? Um, it's your voice is like distorted a little bit. Yeah, actually, I cannot hear you well as well. It's like mm -hmm. not clear. Why? You hear me clearly or not? No, no. I, I not really. É, ela não me escuta e eu não escuto ela. Não tá funcionando. Então, let's wait a little bit. Maybe it's the connection will be better soon. Should I hang up and join again? Oh, no, now I can hear you. Can oh. you hear me? Yes, I can hear yes, you. Yes, amazing. Okay. That's good. That's great. Welcome. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Welcome. I'm so excited for having you here. Oh, thank you for having me. 
No, thank you for accepting the invitation because um, Brazilian fans were very energetic with oh. your crowning and then oh. they asked me a lot to contact you, to talk to you and I said, okay, let's organize it because they are very excited to know more about you. Oh. And for me, it's also very important because we are going to share the huge experience that is Miss Universe. So I think it's a huge opportunity to know better each other because Miss Universe is about connections. And yeah. I think this is the most important and beautiful part of the pageant. So it's, it's very nice having you here. Yes, and thank you for the platform and thank you to all the Brazilian fans. I love Brazil. I have a lot of friends who live in Brazil. So. Oh, really? Yes, That's true. yes, we do. That's um, nice. Yeah, so thank you so much for having me. No, my, my pleasure. Let me ask you, can you introduce yourself, your story a little bit to people? Because they, they read a lot about you, but they won't like listen from you a little bit about your story. Yeah, for sure. So I'm Nova Stevens. I am actually originally from South Sudan. So my origin is Sudanese. I'm of Sudanese descent. I immigrated to Canada at the age of six years old with my cousin. So I left behind my mother and my father and my siblings. It has been over 20 years since I've last seen them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So let me try to translate a little bit to them. Is ela disse que ela se mudou para o Canadá quando ela tinha seis anos de idade com os primos dela. A família toda dela ficou no Sudão e ela não vê a família dela há 22 anos e é uma das das partes mais fortes da história dela. Sure. And how was being elect Miss Universe 2020? Tell me more about it. You know, it was because what I don't know how for us um, we didn't have a live audience. So mm -hmm. winning Miss Universe Canada it felt kind of strange because I didn't have my friends there to cheer for me, my my family members. But what I did have was the support of my my sisters, my fellow delegates. When I won, they were cheering so loud. Um. I almost forgot that there were no <laughs> audience. Yeah, so I was very blessed in that aspect. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's a different year. I also have no audience in my crowning ceremony. And of course, we miss it. Mm -hmm. But it's for the good of everybody, so it's it's understandable, right? But you were pre-selected, right? Like they just appointed you to the crown? They did a online selection okay. and then yes. And then we have the crowning ceremony uh in person. Yes, but was a pre-selection online. What did you have to do um for that? Actually, they analyze our curriculum, like okay. our story of life, uh, yeah. working curriculum and life experiences to check what were the, what was the most prepared girl in Brazil to, to compete at Miss Universe. Because yeah. our preparation now is also very delicate, right? It's not like, uh -huh. it's, it's not easy during the pandemic do the whole preparation that usually misses used to do right so uh, now they they look for the most prepared one and okay. i i had the luck and the honor to be crowned well congratulations how we to meet you in person <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> and what would you say so far what's the best part of being miss universe canada i think the best part for me is the platform, you know, I now have a bigger platform to fight for the things that I believe in. I now have the platform to reach people from all over the world and different walks of life. I now could connect like pe with people like yourself. Um, I could connect with people all over the world and share my story and share my passions. I really feel as though my mission in life is to spread love and awareness. And I think I'm in the right path, definitely. Absolutely, yes. And tell me, tell me more about the causes that you advocate for. I know you are very engaged in many causes and Brazilian people are very interested in Yes, I, I have a lot of causes that I support. Um, education, obviously. I support the 
betterment of communities that are impoverished. But the one that I, I think people are more interested in would be that of Black Lives Matter. And I want to say that I, Black Lives Matter does not necessarily mean that I don't support all lives. Of course, all lives matter. Absolutely, it goes without saying. What, that, what Black Lives Matter means is that until Black lives also matter, we cannot say that all lives matter. You know, lots of Black people all over the world, not just in Canada and the US, but all over the world are, are mistreated by the hands of the police as well as the local citizens. You know, we are deemed as second class citizens. People don't really see the value in us. So for me, it's about showing everyone that we are all the same. You know, you yeah. may look white, you may look black, but our essence is the same, that is love. And we all bleed red and we have the same organs. We're just a human race. So I just want people to see each other as that, nothing else. Yes, and have the same, receiving the same respect, the same yeah. opportunities, the same yeah. love. Yes, I absolutely understand. Yeah. Yes, and talking about this, uh, we also have a very strong situation of prejudice in Brazil. And as a, Okay, as a Miss, for two questions. First, mm -hmm. as Miss Universe Canada, what do you think that you can do for changing this reality? I think what we're doing right now, I think it all comes down to like having an open dialogue. Race is a very uncomfortable conversation. Mm -hmm. People always feel as though it's better not to talk about it because they don't want to come across as racist. But it's actually better for you to talk about it and ask questions you know, mm -hmm. ignorance is bliss. But if you ask questions, you will be more aware of what's going on or we can collectively come up with a solution. So I think you and I are on the right track. We're talking about it. And I just encourage other people to also talk about it. Fantastic. And the second question about this topic is, how do you see that normal citizens, not Miss Canada, not Miss Brazil, yeah. can contribute to ending the racism or prejudice in any kind, any sense? How citizens can contribute with this in the daily life? Yes, I think education, if you, again, conversations, having those talks with people, educating yourself, if you have biased views about people, people of color, try to figure out where that stems from. Educate yourself and ask questions. And if you hear someone saying things that are, could be racist or discriminatory towards people of color, call them out. It's okay for you to speak up against those that can't speak for themselves. I always say that for you to talk to your loved ones at home, because I'm not there to defend myself. So I rely on you, my fellow allies, to defend me in places that I can't defend myself. Use your voice. It's the most powerful tool you have possessed. Use your voice. Yeah. Eu, let me translate this part. Uh, I, eu perguntei para ela o que, que ela acha que, no, que cidadãos no dia a dia podem fazer para contribuir com o fim do racismo, o fim do preconceito. E ela disse que o principal é a educação. É a gente poder falar sobre isso, dialogar sobre isso, trazer isso à tona, não ficar encobrindo ou não querer falar sobre isso. E, e realmente tomar responsabilidade, porque uma pessoa que sofre racismo, sofre preconceito, muitas vezes ela está vulnerável e não consegue se posicionar e se defender. Então, tome a dor dela como sua e, e faça algo, né? Contribua, escute, apoie. Um, let me see, what do you think about Brazil? Oh, I love Brazil. It's honestly on my bucket list. I cannot wait to, to visit. As I said before, I have a lot of friends in Brazil, so I know I will always have a place to stay in. I just, yeah, and there's so much culture. To, you know, Brazil is so diverse. It's, you can have people like me, people like you there. It's just a beautiful melting pot of different, I don't know, different people. And I, that's kind of like Canada to me. Uh, it will be super welcome when yeah. you come to Brazil and I hope being here to host you and oh, I would love show that. you around because it's really a beautiful country. I will take you up on that offer. <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> <laughs> and how about your preparation to Miss Universe? How it's going? I'm actually going to start training. Um, I mean, I, everything that I've been doing has been online up until this point. Next month, I will be training in, I'm not sure if I can say where yet, but 
I have an amazing team. I have oh. someone that is very well known in the industry of pageants that will be training me next month. I'm going to be flying there. So I don't know if I can say that just yet, but I'm just really excited to travel the world and train with different people because I really do think it's good to train with different people because not, um, not everyone knows your strengths and not everyone is an expert at everything. So it's good to take from different individuals and just make it your own. So I'm just really excited. <laughs> That's amazing. I have a good team by, by our sides in, yeah. in our in this moment is so important. It's so crucial. Yes. Okay, Brazilian fans now are very curious. I know maybe you cannot tell where are you going and who <laughs> is your team, but let's just give a little tip to them. Let's say if is it uh, in America or is it in Asia? Can you tell us? South America, how about that? Oh, I love it! <laughs> South America, South America. talent. Yeah, we have so amazing professionals. Yes, I, I am sure. really, really uh, proud of our professionals because I, I have worked with Venezuelans for a long time, and they are so talented. They are so experts on beauty pageants, and yes. not not only Venezuelans, but we have Colombians and so many others but it's it's so nice to see that latin yeah. like latin people are being so valued i'm yeah. happy yeah. and i i hope see you with a latin taste on the <laughs> maybe on the final flair latina taste <laughs> that will be fun that will be nice yeah really uh, what about you how is your training going uh, it's going fantastic uh also some of the, the parts of the training is uh, online, yeah. like oratory or English practicing, uh, something like this. But the, um, the show part and these parts, we are having the classes and also with Latinos, uh, Latin <laughs> people. So yeah. good things are coming. I'm very excited. It's so nice having a mixed team. Because yes. as you said, we can join forces, mm -hmm. join knowledge, and then I can make it my own, like my 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 knowledge, but learning from different people, it's yeah. so rich experience. I'm really happy. Yes. Can I just say, I just think you are like such a phenomenal woman. You speak, what, five languages, is it? Well, I speak fluently English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And then I have the basic of Mandarin and German. That is amazing. It's, yeah, that is so it's something amazing. that I, I'm very proud of because it's like in Brazil, not everyone has the opportunity. Yes. I also didn't have like uh, resources, but mm. I I get like the opportunities from life and it was like so rich experience. And I believe that having these skills is so perfect because then you can really connect yes. with people, communicate Absolutely. with people. So yeah, I, I really love having these skills thank you <laughs> oh no i used to speak arabic i used to speak swahili but then ah, as i've gone older I I, do mm -hmm. you know swahili for me it's one of the most beautiful languages yeah? yes i i met one girl last year in los angeles we okay. are recording a song and then a small part of the song were in different languages and then we have Swahili. It was the most beautiful part oh. ever. It's it's like a music, it's like a song, it's something so soft and beautiful. Really. I'm so sad that I forgot it. Uh no, but it's really yeah. beautiful. I, I can't explain, but I was very surprised. It's very nice. Well maybe we should learn it together. Let's learn Swahili together. Mm, me gusta. <laughs> Let's yeah, just me translate to people. Uh, ela, eu perguntei da preparação dela, gente, e ela disse que até agora foi online, mas a partir do próximo mês ela vai estar presencialmente com uma equipe de fora do Canadá. Eu perguntei para ela de onde, um spoilerzinho assim, se pelo menos era Latina América, América ou Ásia, e ela disse que é na América Latina, gente. Eu não sei, mas assim... Fico muito feliz de saber que ela está vindo para valorizar os profissionais aqui da América Latina. Oh, oh my God! Beautiful. I think like I think Portuguese is such a beautiful language. Ah, uh, thank you, thank yeah. you. And how about what's the most difficult part of being Miss Canada during a pandemic? 
the most difficult part i think obviously the we're un unable to travel mm -hmm. um but for me it would also be the pressure you know the pressure to meet my own expectations as well as those of others and also you know the racism that i've also experienced bec because i'm a woman of color how do you feel this because uh some people in brazil or around the world will think that maybe now that you have the crown of miss universe canada your problems were was solved like now you don't need to deal with prejudice and racism daily life i mean i just know that some people think like this and they yeah. think that my all my problems has ended as well so let's talk a little bit about this I actually think it's quite the contrary. I think because I am Miss Canada, I've actually received more racism because mm. I'm op I've opened myself up to being scrutinized by people from all over the world. People think that when you're in a position of leadership, that you don't have any feelings, that they can say Absolutely. whatever, they, right? yeah. they, yeah, can say whatever they want to you and you're not going to get hurt. But I am a human being like everyone that's watching if you feel pain from people you know saying bad words to you negative words to you i also will feel those those the same pain so for me um it's it's been a lot like i remember i was receiving hateful messages from people saying that oh only a white woman should be miss canada you look like a monkey like all these is racist stuff no so, way absolutely and you know, telling my telling me to like kill myself, I'm ugly, I'm this, and it's just it just it's just sad because people don't understand how important words are. Words are so important because you internalize them. If you're not strong enough mentally in your Absolutely. mind, you can yes. internalize them and you can start uh -huh. to believe those words to be true. And you may even harm yourself. You know, a lot of suicide comes stems from online bullying. So mm -hmm. I've definitely received that. I'm so grateful that I have a strong support system around me and that I don't let those words define me. But they are very hurtful. They're very hurtful. It's very sad that we, we still have to face this kind of society. Mm -hmm. And But I must say that with Zozi's um, winning and it's it's a, a step ahead in this this cause and now having you joining us in the pageantry also it's something that day by day we are building our new world so it's yes. it's i'm very proud of you that you had the courage to come back and compete again and now being crowned miss canada it's you it, you, you deserve it and i know many girls around the world i feel are feeling represented by you and this is so important right Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I would like to ask you some questions that I asked the Brazilian fans to send. I said, mm -hmm. okay, you have the chance to make a question. And then they sent me tons of questions. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, how am I going to choose it? It's crazy. They, they are very intense. They are very excited for this life. Let's start. Uh, one tier asked me, what a miss cannot do? You know, what's what forbidden for misses? Yeah. What's forbidden? I mean, what do you feel miss should never do? I think I'm going to take a different spin on that question. When you, uh -huh. what can a miss, what can she not do? I say she can do anything she puts her mind to. There are no limitations to what you can do unless until you put those limitations yourself. So I say she can do anything. Fantastic! Mm -hmm. Eu disse para ela que agora eu ia começar a trazer as perguntas que vocês fizeram. E eu comecei perguntando uma que mandaram aqui, que é o que uma Miss não pode fazer? E ela disse, eu vou virar essa pergunta e dizer que uma Miss pode fazer absolutamente tudo que ela decidir e tiver disposta a fazer. Perfeito. Né? Sim! Ah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, for you, what means being confidently beautiful? For me, being confidently beautiful is being true to who you are. You know, I decided to not compete with 
long hair because then that's not authentic to who I, to who I am. Mm -hmm. So authenticity, I think, is confidence. So just be authentic in who you are. Even if they don't believe in it, just see them believe that you two also matter and that you are capable just as accomplishing as, mu as much without having to conform to society's standards. Eu perguntei para ela o que, que é ser com, é, confidentemente bonita, que é o slogan do Miss Universo. E ela disse que é ser você mesmo, ser autêntico. Fantastic. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. 100%. Uh, this is the question that I receive every day and then send to you. I was... <laughs> How will be your dress at Miss Universe Finals? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> It's like every day they made this question. Yes. Oh my, I'm so excited for my gowns. Um, they're being created by one of the top designers in pageantry. Oh my goodness. And I, I can't tell you who it just yet, but he's an amazing, <laughs> talented designer. I'm just so excited and so grateful that he's allowing me to, to wear one of his creations. Amazing. Cool. And they already start making it or not? Uh, we're designing it. Yeah, we're in the designing. Process. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? What is happiness for you? What is happiness for me? I think happiness comes in different phases. I think it's hard to be happy all the time because that's that's not that's not reality. You know, mm -hmm. in life we are going to have moments of sadness and happiness, but. I think for me, true happiness will happen when I see my family again. Um, I mentioned to you earlier that it's been over 20 years since I've last seen them. So I think I will ex experience the most amount of joy when I get to see them. And that is my New Year's resolution for next year is to see my family, get my mom out of the UN camp and just unite with them. Yeah. That will be beautiful. Yeah. I will be expecting for this and yeah. cheering for you and for them. Eu perguntei para ela o que, que significava felicidade para ela e ela disse que, sem dúvida, o momento de maior felicidade que ela vai experimentar vai ser quando ela reencontrar a família dela e ela espera que seja no próximo ano. Um, ah, this is another question that I receive a lot. I, and I will be glad to hear oh, it from you. Oh, I think I know what it is, but go ahead. Do you think? Can you, can you try? Tell me. Who do you think will be in the top five? That one? Uh, no, I would never okay, ask okay. you this because I, I, I never answer this me question too. because yeah. I just respect all the girls yes, that are competing. Like they have my respect, and we yes. shouldn't shouldn't underestimate any of I them. Agree. I agree. So yeah. yeah, I will even not think about it. I just will work hard yeah. to be there. <laughs> yeah, I don't ask. I don't answer that question either because I'm not yeah. a judge. And again, like you yes. said, like all the girls are ph phenomenal and they're capable of being in that spot. So I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Well, the question is, okay. you are a very strong woman. Okay. And empowered woman. Okay. And then don't you think that beauty, pa beauty pageants objectify women like um, do you understand? Objectify is mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think this is against the feminism movement, or how do you deal with this? I think the idea that beauty pageants objectify women is what feminists are actually trying to, you know, work uh, uh, erase essentially. We are just, it's our body, so it's up to us to do with it how, what we yes. do. So by you saying it's objectifying, you're actually erasing the work that we're trying to accomplish. You're making us work backwards. We're taking steps back. We are empowered. We are capable of making our own decisions. So we are deciding. No one is telling us to compete. No one is telling us that we have to wear these things. We are choosing on our own free will. So no, I don't think it objectifies. We are showcasing that we are multifaceted. We are intelligent. We work hard for what we want. We, if I'm working hard for my body and I want to show it off, uh -huh. I should be able to. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Absolutely agree. That's yeah. it. Yes. Yeah, they should end asking this question. I know. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite tired as well. Um, 
how the victory, the winning of doses impact the the life of women in Canada? I can't speak for women in Canada, but I can speak for myself. Okay. You know, I competed three times on Miss Universe Canada before I won. And in 2018, when I didn't win, I said to myself, I'm never competing again in my entire life. I'm done with pageants. Um, I just, I didn't care anymore. But when I saw Zosie win at tw in 2019, I actually saw myself getting there, which is why I always say representation really matters. Because when you see yourself represented, you can see yourself getting there. So for me, it, she was pitiful. Um, she was, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh my God, what is the word? She was, uh, I will say essential and as to me competing again, because had she not won, I honestly don't think I would have competed again. I don't think I would have. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, what you are most excited about Miss Universe? Oh, I think meeting the girls. Yeah, I right. always say that there's obviously only one crown, only one woman will win, but you have the choice of making relationships with girls from all over the world. So for me, I look forward to getting to know you, all my other sisters, and just building yeah. those bonds, those lifelong relationships. Yeah. Yeah, this is a rich experience. Uh, <laughs> you know, I have been in at Miss World in 2014. Mm. And then there, I made like at least it. We were like 120 contestants, yeah. contest, contestants, wow. and I made at least 80 friends. Like, mm -hmm. if I travel to their country, I just call them. Hi, I'm here. Let's meet, and then we'll they will host you, show yeah. you around. This is so amazing. Yeah. What another experience give you this? Exactly. Mm, yeah, so yeah, for sure, having the girls will be the most incredible part. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> they ask it if you have heard about Brazilian Carnival. Yes, I have, of course. Oh, I, I was just telling, um, yeah, I want to go there, I want to visit. Okay, yeah, they ask it and then they said, Invite her, invite her. And I said, please. Okay. Oh my god, please invite me. I will please love. join yeah. us at Brazilian Carnival because okay. it's unforgettable. It's just unforgettable. It's, it's huge, it's beautiful. It's it's really oh, I'm so excited. Yes, I accept. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, considering you are not born in Canada, mm -hmm. I, I think I know that the answer, but they ask me wh wh which will be the flag that you will take with you to the contest, the, the Miss Universe, the um, flag, the, which I'm country? I'm having a hard time hearing you, but I think I, I heard the question, what will be the flag that I will take with me to Miss Universe? Yes. Obviously, Canada, you know, although I was not born in Canada, Canada is my home. Canada is the only home I know. Yes. I've been here for over 20 years. This country has hosted me. This country has raised me. I am who I am because of Canada. So, of course, I will raise the Canadian flag. Absolutely. Beautiful. Eu perguntei para ela, como ela não é nascida no Canadá, qual bandeira ela vai levar para o Miss Universo? Ela disse que absolutamente só pode levar do Canadá porque é o que ela sente de casa, é o que ela conhece como casa e ela só é quem ela é graças ao Canadá. Então é a bandeira do Canadá. Vocês perguntaram aqui. I can't hear you. Um, it's happening oh. again. The volume. The volume, really? Like it's uh, your voice is like interrupting. Shaking. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. I can hear you. You can hear me? Okay. Yes. It. Let me know if it's better. No, I will talk in Portuguese a little bit. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Great. That's good. <laughs> we are back. <laughs> and how about people always want to know about these things? So, beauty uh, rituals, beauty tips. How do you take care of yourself? Let me know about about it. I drink a gallon of water a day. Like, I drink a lot of water. Okay. 
And then I always make sure I wash my face. Like I always, I always shower before bed anyways, but my makeup is always off. I never sleep with makeup on. Mm -hmm. And I use organic products, things that I can, that I know that are, you know, good for my skin. That's great. Eu perguntei para ela dos rituais de beleza dela, e aí ela disse que bebe muita água, lava muito bem o rosto, nunca dorme de maquiagem, e usa produtos orgânicos, que sabe que vai ser benéficos para o organismo dela. O organismo dela. <risos> Great. Um, e how tall are you? You're very tall. I am. To be exact, I'm 184 centimeters. 184? Oh, that's amazing! That's How tall are you? How tall are you? I am once. Well, I'm I'm not tall anymore. <laughs> I'm 177 centimeters. No, you're tall. What is that? Five nine or? Uh, I don't know in inches. Uh, okay. Yeah, but it's you're tall. What? No, that's tall. No, I mean, but you're really tall. <laughs> That's amazing. I have a friend, she's 181, and okay. I think she's so gorgeous, so beautiful. And then, yeah. now you're 184. Eu perguntei qual a altura dela, gente. E ela disse que ela tem 1,84. Sensacional, né? Ela é muito alta. Mm. Que linda. And then, I asked you this, because they asked it here. I'm, yeah. I'm reading here. Oh. They asked it... Uh, What do you think about misses that are not so tall, like 160 something or 170? What do you think? I mean, I don't think height should be a factor. And yeah, I don't I don't think they should be eliminated because they're short or because they're tall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Eu perguntei para ela o que ela acha das misses baixinhas que vocês perguntaram para mim. Ela disse que isso não devia ser um fator a ser analisado, que isso não tem nada a ver. Não me interessa. Uh, how many countries in the world do you have you visit? Oh, not that many. Um, I've been to America, obviously. Um, uh -huh. um, I've been to Kenya. I've been to Egypt oh, when I was younger. Yeah. Ethiopia. Um, yes. I've been to Italy, France and switzerland that's a lot that's, that's a, a lot. lot i want to i want to travel of course more. Like, i want I to but it's yeah. a lot already for what sure. about you ah uh, i have been in well, brazil but then uruguay uh mm. argentina bolivia and usa italy mm -hmm. london mm. china thailand and india oh. Yeah, and Malaysia. And Malaysia. No, but almost the same as you, but yeah. as, just like you, I want more. I want to travel around the whole world. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's a go. Mm -hmm. And what I, I, I check one of your interviews and see that you like to watch series on Netflix or something like this, right? Sometimes, yeah. I'm very, yeah. I, I do watch, I think you guys watch this too. Um, La like Casa de Papel. Ah, sí! Yes, I love it. I love this. Ella just gives me Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Bella Chow. Bella Chow, Bella Chow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for me, it was one of the best ever. I, I love this the series. The best, the best yeah. show. Oh my goodness, it's so. Eu perguntei que série ela gosta e ela disse que adora a casa de, La Casa de Papel. Então, ela também adora assistir. Mm. Now it's stuck yeah. in <laughs> Yeah, it never goes on. <laughs> well, we, the whole world experienced the pandemic, but we have different experiences in every country. Actually, every person has a different experience in this situation. And their question is, what have you learned with the pandemic? What I've learned uh, during the pandemic is that the best things in life are free. You know, we're, we're all, we often in times focus on material wealth and 
stuff like that but i think it's it's more share sharing more of the stuff that doesn't cost a thing you know love spread more love not hate it's it's free smile more because when you smile you encourage those around you to also smile and use your voice you know you don't have to leave your house to fight for the things that you believe in you can do it simply by just being online like we're doing right now calling someone but yeah that's what I've learned that the best things, the most simplest things in life are free. Yeah, that's, that's true. Perguntei para ela o que ela aprendeu na pandemia e ela disse que ela aprendeu que as coisas mais importantes e as melhores coisas da vida são de graça. Que a gente deveria dar mais valor a elas, que a gente deveria distribuir mais amor. What about yes. you? What, is, what did you learn during the pandemic? Um, absolutely the same, but also... Yeah, about like value, valuing the, the small things in life, as you said, the free things that in our daily life, sometimes we just take it for granted. Yes. And then now we see that it's not like this, so we should value, value it more and value people more. Yes. Uh, and also how, like, in some sense, the whole world was vulnerable, in, like equally. And this, I think it yeah. will remind us of our vulnerability and yeah. about like our human like being situation and i think yeah. it's 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 good to be reminded because yeah. sometimes we feel like superpower yes. yeah i mean do, do you know so i think being reminded about our vulnerability also helps us to value more our lives yes i agree yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ah, ah, about the the vaccine in Canada, do you have some expectations? Like the, they they said when it will be available, or what? I think early next year, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about yeah, you? Yeah, we, we expect we expect the same, like yeah. the the beginning of next year. This year oh. probably not. Yeah. That's, we hope soon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's I mean, obviously, like, you want to take it, but then there's a certain element of fear as well because you don't know what you're putting into your body. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say that I'm not thinking about it. Yes, I yeah. am. But uh, I was wondering if Miss Universe will ask us to take the vaccine before going. I don't know what will happen, right? We are just, like blinded waiting so i don't know maybe they will ask us and then okay let's do it but i am also like mm, i don't know yeah yeah right i don't know i need to do more research <laughs> about it <laughs> do you have any curiosity about brazil do you want to ask something please feel feel free to to say or well um what do I want to know about Brazil? You know, I think experience is the best teacher. So I just want to go and experience Brazil. Yes, this will yeah. be great. And you'll yeah. be very welcome, as I said. And I hope being your host. Yes. Okay. I'll take you <laughs> <of> that offer. <laughs> yes, that's nice. And the pandemic now in Canada, how is the situation? Like, it varies um, per province. So for BC, my province, we have kind we we shut down what did we shut down i don't think we shut down anything just yet but we can't have large gatherings anymore mm -hmm. um and if you live by yourself you can have up to three people outside of your your home that you can visit otherwise mm -hmm. you just have to just be in contact with those that you live with yeah ah okay okay that's interesting nice but we can't really we can't see people anymore we can't be in large mm -hmm. gatherings, we can't have celebrations. So I, I, it's interesting how Christmas will be this year. Absolutely, right? Yeah, it will be a different Christmas for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Socially connected Christmas. <laughs> yes. Socially. Yes. yes, but let's try and make it as special as well, right? Exactly. Celebrate exactly. our blessings, yes, for sure. Exactly, exactly. I know that uh, was amazing talking with you. You were so Thank kind. You. you know, I don't know why, but uh, I was expecting you will be more sharp or 
I don't know. You are kind. You are very kind. I'm so in love with you. You are amazing. Oh. Really. Oh, <laughs> I was too. expecting sharper. Really? I don't know that's, why. I don't that's know interesting. Why. Like, what do you mean? Like more of like um, like serious, uh, serious, that... cold. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. I think um, a lot of people are surprised because. I've had to show my serious side. I think we all have different sides. Mm -hmm. Sides, not size. Um, we all have different sides. And I think on social media, for the most part, I've had to show my serious side because I had to address serious things, you know, like okay. racism and like mm -hmm. bullying. So I had yeah, to maybe serious. because of it. Yeah. But I think because of that, you probably thought I was a serious person. But honestly, I am like, the biggest like joker i like to dance i feel no loud. i can see it yeah. i can feel it yeah. you have a lot yes absolutely so. and i say i tell you this because i always like to remember people to give the other people chance to show yeah. themselves to yeah. be yeah. themselves and yeah. then like get to know them don't yeah. take like judgments or That's prejudgments right. yeah. before you you really get to know them so i'm really happy for Aww. meeting you really well thank you for you know wanting to do this despite your preconceived notions about me so thank you for now being open. absolutely being open i was too. excited and now i am so happy everyone yeah. I'm sure Brazilian people are also in love with you and they will be cheering for us at Miss Universe. Yeah, I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it will be awesome. Uh, and I think before, because of our country's letters, we will be in the same team, right? Yes. I hope so. We will be in the same group. It will be nice. It will Is that be how it works? Is that, I thought it was based on the, the region. So if you're like from South America, they group those girls together. Maybe. Maybe no, it's like language. I don't too. know, to be honest, because uh, I, I just have the Miss World experience and there is for countries' letters. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know, actually. Well, Let's see what happens. But okay. we will be there together for sure. In, yeah. yeah. No matter the group. Yeah. And now, mm -hmm. if you want like, tell something to Brazilian fans, mm -hmm. let's give a message okay. to them. I wish I knew Portuguese. Okay. Hi everyone. I can help you. Okay. Hi Oi, everyone. Pessoal. Thank you so much for tuning in and getting to know me. It's been a pleasure to get to know your queen. I think that she's a queen. I can't wait to meet her. I'm just gr so grateful of this platform and I can't wait, wait. to show the... Oh. Let, let me translate. Oh, sorry. I know. Oi, pessoal. Estou <laughs> muito feliz de estar aqui com vocês. Muito feliz de conhecer a Júlia, a Miss de vocês. Não vejo a hora de conhecer ela no concurso Miss Universo. Ok, keep going. Ok. <laughs> um, I can't wait to visit Brazil. I think Brazil is a beautiful country. I love how diverse it is because that is really the world. The world is diverse. I just want to say to all of you. Ok, go ahead. Ah, ela tá muito, ela quer muito visitar o Brasil, porque ela adora conhecer a diversidade do mundo, o mundo é diverso, e ela quer dizer alguma coisa agora. Tell me. Hmm. Ok. Remember. Lembrem. In life. Na vida. You, have, you always have a choice. Você sempre tem a escolha. Você sempre pode escolher. You can choose to give love or to give hate. Você pode escolher dar amor ou dar ódio. I encourage you to give more love because we need more love more than ever. Eu encorajo vocês a dar mais amor porque a gente precisa amor mais do que nunca. And love doesn't um, cost a thing. And love doesn't yes. cost a thing. <laughs> e amor é algo constante. Ooh, I have one. Is this? I don't know if this is Spanish or if this is um, Portuguese. Ah. Una ola de amor. No? Is that Spanish? Tell me again. Tell me again. Una ola de amor. Oh, that's beautiful. This is Spanish. Let, it, let okay. me teach you in Portuguese. Okay. Uma. Uma. Onda. Uma onda. De. De. Amor. Uma onda. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Uma onda. Uma onda de amor. Okay. Uma onda de amor. Yes! Uma onda de amor. Beautiful, beautiful.
beautiful, beautiful. Please oh. let's keep in touch. Yes. Let's be in contact and yes. sharing our experiences yes. and, and preparing is it, ourselves. Is it, is it Julia or Julia? Uh, well, in Portuguese, it's Julia. Julia, okay. So English, you okay. No, English is Julia, right? Oh, you said Julia? No, in Portuguese, it's Julia. Julia. Yes, in Spanish, Julia. And then in English, Julia. So probably oh. at Miss Universe will be Julia. Julia okay. is fine. Julia. Okay, well, so nice to meet you, darling. I can't wait to meet you. Nice person. to meet you. Aww. Love from Brazil. Thank you Lots so much. Love. Thank you so okay. much. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Gente, muito obrigada por estarem aqui. Fiquei muito feliz com a colaboração de vocês. Espero que vocês tenham gostado bastante. Eu fiquei muito feliz de conhecer ela. Eu disse para ela que eu me surpreendi, que ela é muito mais doce do que eu imaginava. E fiquei muito feliz mesmo. Vai ser muito legal ter ela comigo no Miss Universo e compartilhar os momentos lá com ela. Um beijo para vocês e uma boa noite.